So next is question number 2.16. Heptane and octane form an ideal solution. At 373 Kelvin, the vapor pressure of the two liquid components are 105.2 kilopascal and 46.8 kilopascal respectively. What will be the vapor pressure of the mixture of 26 grams of heptane and 35 grams of octane? So here, we are supposed to find out vapor pressure of mixture of heptane and octane at a given weight. Its respective vapor pressures are also given of the liquid components. So first thing we will write is the total vapor pressure. So we can write that total vapor pressure of the mixture is equal to vapor pressure of heptane plus vapor pressure of octane. So now vapor pressure of heptane is taken as Pa all right and vapor pressure of octane is taken as Pb all right now the formula for vapor pressure <coughs> of this is going to be Pa naught into Xa plus Vapor pressure of octane is going to be Pb0 into Xb. Okay. Now, what are Pa0 and Pb0? We know that Pa is for vapor pressure of heptane and octane. Whereas Pa0 and Pb0 are vapor pressure of pure state of heptane and vapor pressure of pure state of octane. All right. So now, <clears throat> what are the values of Pa0 and Pb0? Pa0 is going to be, Pa0 is going to be here, 105.2 kilopascal and Pb0 is going to be 46.8 kilopascal. Next one is, you need to know what is the mole fractions here. We know what is Pa0, we know what is Pb0, we should know what the mole fractions are. They are not given to us in the question. So let's see what is the uh, mole fraction formula. So here we can write that mole fraction of heptane. Mole fraction is always denoted as a small x. Mole fraction of heptane is equal to number of moles of heptane by number of moles of heptane plus number of moles of octane. Now in this number of moles is also not given to us in the question. So let's split the formula for number of moles. So we can write that number of moles of heptane is equal to given mass by molar mass all right now given mass of heptane is then the question 26.0 grams molar mass of heptane if we know the formula of heptane we can easily calculate it so we can do that one so now you can write that molar mass of heptane what is the formula for heptane heptane is nothing but c7 H16. Alright, now here 7 carbon atoms into atomic mass of carbon plus 16 hydrogen atom into atomic mass of hydrogen. When I simplify this, I will get 100 grams per mole. That is going to be the molecular mass of heptane. Now let's substitute from the equation here. So, given mass of heptane is 26 grams, 
molar mass of heptane is 100 gram per mole when I divide when I divide both of this I will get 0 0.26 gram and gram will get cancelled mole inverse when it goes on top it becomes moles all right so you got what is the number of moles of heptane now in the denominator you need number of moles of octane again let's write here so number of moles of octane is again equal to given mass by molar mass all right now again in this given mass of octane is given in the question we need to calculate molar mass so let's calculate that one so you can write molar mass of octane now octane is going to be c8h18 <clears throat> When you solve this, it will be 8 atoms of carbon into 12 plus 18 atoms of hydrogen into 1, which is the atomic mass of hydrogen. When we simplify this, you will get the mass as 114 gram per mole. Substitute this back into the equation. Given mass for octane is 35 grams in the question. So, 35 grams by molar mass we just calculated 114 gram per mole gram and gram will get cancelled 35 by uh, 0 0.114 is nothing but 0 0.307 moles so now we have the number of moles of heptane we have the number of moles of octane simplify it here substitute the values so here number of moles of heptane is 0 0.26 moles divided by number of moles of heptane is again 0 0.26 moles plus plus number of moles of octane which is 0 0.307 moles now when you simplify the denominator and divide it here your number of moles in this case for this is going to be 0 0.4585 for mole fraction there is no unit all right now now that you know what is xa which is for x heptane you have to calculate for octane the same way but simply you can still do the same thing with respect to the formula method for octane where in the numerator you're putting octane value for octane and calculating it or you can do another method where x of octane equals 1 minus x of heptane that's a standard formula all right so when you do this one now this is equal to 1 minus mole fraction of heptane is here 0 0.4585 when i simplify this i will get 0 0.5414 this is going to be the mole fraction for octane. Now you know what is the PA0 and PB0 from the question we have written here. We know what is XA and XB. Substitute all these values in the formula. <clears throat> Alright. So we can write that total pressure of the mixture is equal to PA0. PA0 is 105.2 kilopascal into XA is for heptane. So that's going to be 0 0.4585 plus XB for, for, uh, for octane it's pressure of paper pressure of octane. So here you can write this as 46. 8 kilopascal into xb is what you calculated here so you can write 0 0.5414 when i multiply both of this i will get 48.234 kilopascal plus multiply both of this i will get 25.337 
Pascal. Simplify both of this. I will get 73.57 kilopascal, which is the total pressure of the mixture.